Blah, blah, blah. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Shack Talk Tuesday. This is my new commitment to you to vlog once a week. Every Tuesday you're gonna get a vlog from me. This is a great way for me to get to know you a little better, you to know me a little better, so let's jump right in. Hey Chris, what sort of music inspires you to write your own songs? I'd love to know who you're listening to and who your favorites are. Jenny, to be honest, I listen to so much music, it's insane and it's so diverse. If you went through my iPod right now, you would find Adele, Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, Owl City, Taylor Swift, Will I Am, Carly Rae Jepsen, and YouTube's Charlie Puth, Nicki Minaj. So these are my top 10 favorite albums that inspire me to go write new music. Starting with number 10, Daniel Bedingfield, Gotta Get Through This. Wow, what an amazing album. If you're into male pop singers, this guy it just made the ultimate pop album. It's got so many great songs on it. Number nine, Angelique Kidjo. It's got an amazing remake of Jimi Hendrix Voodoo Child on here, as well as some great sounds. Number eight, John Mayer, Room for Squares. If you are a songwriter, if you want to be inspired as a lyricist, this is the album right here. Number seven, the Beatles White Album. Now I know a lot of people go immediately to Sgt. Pepper's which is an unbelievable, ingenious, incredible album, but the White Album is probably my favorite. Number six, Ben Folds, Rock in the Suburbs. I love this album from a technical point of view, from a production point of view, from a songwriting point of view, and I just plain love listening to it. Wow. Number four, Michael Jackson's History. Once again, I know a lot of people will probably go to Thriller, but from Scream all the way to Smile, this album is just chock full of Michael's genius. Number four, Prince, Sign of the Times. Sign of the Times is one of those albums that you can't believe one guy came up with the whole thing and wow, I mean, he's playing most of the instruments, he's producing. This album will blow your mind, check it out. Number three, Scritti Politti Provision. Now this is an acquired taste. I know that everybody probably won't dig this. This came straight out of the 80s. To me, it's just a great summer love album. The keyboard production on this is unlike anything I've ever heard and it's just sheer genius, sheer genius. Number two, George Michael, Listen Without Prejudice. This is when George had just come off the face album which was a pop masterpiece and he decided I don't want to be this bubblegummy pop guy you're not gonna walk away from this album whistling zippity doo dah because it's not a, <laughs> a happy album but whew, it makes for a beautiful listen number one the Beach Boys Pet Sounds the Pet Sounds album is Brian Wilson at the height of his songwriting and production genius put on some headphones listen to it it is a work of art there you go there you have it so I'll see you guys next Tuesday and look for new music coming up later this week hey.